Displaying your Instagram Reels on your WordPress website can fill your site with fresh, dynamic content and help you get more followers at the same time. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you the best way to embed your Instagram Reels on your WordPress website. This is by using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, where you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To get started, head over to smashballoon.com and purchase Instagram Feed Pro. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Next, click Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro. Like this, then click Install Now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. And there we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. To get started, on the left-hand side, you'll now see Instagram Feed. Hover over it and click on Settings. Over here, beside License Key, we can paste the License Key from our Smash Balloon account. After that, click Activate. And as you can see, our License Key has now been activated. We can begin creating our Instagram Reels feed. On the left-hand side, once again, under Instagram Feed, click All Feeds. Next, at the top, click Add New. And for the first step of creating our Instagram feed, we'll have to select a feed type. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, or a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, we're going to stick with the User Timeline option that's already selected for us, so we can click Next. After that, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Click on Add Source. Then on this page, you can choose the option that best suits your Instagram account, whether it's a basic account or a business account. For this demonstration, our account is a business account. So we're going to click here. And now it's asking us if we've connected our Facebook account with Smash Balloon before. I'm going to click on No. Then I can click on Connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook. And if you're already logged in, click on Edit Access. And over here, you should see all the Facebook pages, Instagram accounts, and business accounts connected to your Facebook account. Look for the Instagram account you want to display inside your feed. And everywhere it appears, make sure it's toggled on on the right-hand side. After that, exit out and click Continue. You'll then get this prompt here ask you to confirm if this is your domain. You can click on Yes, it's my domain. And back inside Instagram Feed Pro, you can now see all the Instagram accounts you've connected with the plugin. Select the one you want to display inside your feed, then click on Add. And then we can see that account added as a source, and we can select it, then click Next. For the next step, we'll have to select a theme for the design of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. Each one offers a unique design to help your Instagram feed stand out on your site. Let's continue with the social wall option and click next. Now for the final step of creating our Instagram feed, we have to select a template for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, hard grid, and several more. For this tutorial, let's go with the masonry cards template. Once selected, click next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new Instagram feed inside the plugin. Our feed is displaying the latest Instagram post from the account we connected, which is Green Grove Eatery. Inside the feed, you can see that our posts are displayed in a masonry layout, which is the one we selected. Each post features the account name, profile picture, an Instagram icon, and below the post, we have a preview for the caption, the number of likes, and the number of comments too. But you might notice that our Instagram feed currently features both photos and videos. But in this video, we only want to display our Instagram Reels. Let me show you how we can customize our Instagram feed to do that. On the left-hand side, click on the Settings tab. Next, click on Filters and Moderation. In this menu, you can find filters to moderate the content inside your Instagram feed. If I scroll down to the bottom, you'll find this option here that says Show Specific Types of Posts. Here, you can specify what type of posts you want to display inside your feed. Currently, we have all the different types, including photos, feed videos, and reels. And because we want to isolate our Instagram reel, we can deselect photos and feed videos. You can see now that our Instagram feed is only displaying reels, which is exactly what we want. While we're here, let me quickly show you the other moderation features as well. At the top, click on Moderation Mode. Next, if we enable it, you can see all the posts inside your feed and you can choose the exact ones you want to display. There's two options to do this, with the Allow List and the Block List. With the Allow List, all your posts will be hidden by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to display like this. Alternatively, if you go with the block list, all your posts will be displayed by default, or for the ones you manually choose to hide, like this. So this way, if you want to hide a specific video or reel, you can deselect it, or only select the ones you want to display. It's totally up to you. And if you want to hide a specific post manually, you can also enter the post ID below to hide it manually inside your feed. And if you make any changes, click Save on the top right corner. But for now, we're going to disable this. And if we go back into Filters and Moderation, you'll find this option here to also add words or hashtags as filters. This way, your Instagram feed will only show or hide posts containing those words or hashtags. With these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over the posts you display inside your Instagram feed. And once you're happy with the changes, click Save on the top right corner. Our Instagram Reels feed is now ready to be embedded inside our WordPress web page. But before I show you how to do that, let me quickly show you how we can customize the design of the feed as well. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside this menu, you'll find options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. You'll notice that currently we have the masonry layout selected. This one displays your Instagram posts in rows and columns, but with the posts in their original sizes. So with Instagram Reels, you can see these videos in their full size inside your feed. And taking a look at the other layout options, we have the grid layout, 
This one displays your Instagram posts in rows and columns, but this time not in their original sizes. After that, we have the carousel layout. This one allows you to swipe through your posts like this, making it really interactive for your site visitors. And last but not least, we have the highlight layout, which highlights posts in a larger thumbnail, followed by the rest of the posts in a grid layout. For this video, we're going to continue with the Maser layout. But if you look below, you can also choose how many posts you want to display inside your feed initially. At the moment, we're allowing for up to 12 posts, but our account only has six videos published. But if you want to modify this, just enter the number of posts you want to display. For example, let's change this to three. And instantly, you can see that our feed is updated to only display three reels. And next, you can also customize the number of columns you have inside your Instagram feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. At the moment, we have up to four columns, but we're only displaying three reels. That's why one column is missing. So I'm going to modify that to make it three columns instead. All you have to do is open it up and select the number of columns you want to display. In this case, let's go with three. And right away, you can see that our live preview has updated to only display three columns instead of four. And once you're happy with the changes, click save on the top right corner. And now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram Reels feed, let me show you how we can embed it inside your WordPress web page. To embed it, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, and click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to embed your feed to, and click add. And here we are on our WordPress web page. You have two options to embed your Instagram feed. The first option is to use a shortcode block, this one here, and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your Instagram feed inside your WordPress web page. We can now publish the page and check out what it looks like on the live website. All right, here we are now on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle is our brand new Instagram Reels feed. Our feed is displaying the latest Instagram Reels from the Green Grove Eatery account, which is the one we connected as a source. And inside the feed, you can see the three latest videos, the account name, when that video was published, an Instagram icon indicating that the content is from Instagram. And at the bottom, you have the number of likes, comments, and if a site visitor wants to watch any of these videos, you can click on it like this, and that video will open up inside a lightbox view with the video playing on the left-hand side and the caption at the top. You also have buttons to share the post or view the post on Instagram itself. Next, if I scroll down to the bottom of the feed, you'll find a button that says Load More. If site visitors click on that, they will load additional Instagram Reels directly inside your feed on your WordPress website. How cool is that? And there you have it. That's the best way to embed Instagram Reels on your WordPress website. I hope this video shows you just how fast and easy it is using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you experience any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And please consider subscribing to our channel for social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.